This is the news segment of the Morning Swim Show on Tuesday, October 6, 2009. I'm your host, Peter Bush, and another big-time college recruit has made her choice. SwimmingWorld.com broke the story that Casey Carlson, the bronze medalist in the 100 breaststroke at Worlds, and the national high school record holder in that event, committed to swim for Dave Salo and the USC Trojans. The program was already one of the, if not the, hotspot for elite female breaststrokers to train, with Rebecca Sony, Jessica Hardy, and very soon Casey Carlson. Holy smokes, those are arguably the three best breaststrokers in America today, all in the same pool every day. And we're working to get Casey on the Morning Swim Show later this week, so stay tuned for that. So now two of the most high-profile female recruits, along with Elizabeth Beisel, they have made their college choices. A few weeks ago, we told you that Dagny Knudsen made a verbal commitment to swim for Brett Hawk and Paul Yetter at Auburn University. And moving on now, Natalie Coughlin continues to shine on the TV show Dancing with the Stars. This is the end of her Roomba dance last night, prompting one of the judges to exclaim, Sexy beast, Natalie! Now, if you watch Monday's show, you see Terry McKeever right there in the audience cheering for her, one of her star swimmers. And has it's been the case on the show every Friday. Uh, we're going to have Natalie on again this Friday to talk about this week's dance and give us more behind-the-scenes scoop. Across the pond, the British Swimming Coaches and Teachers Association named Ben Titley the Coach of the Year on Monday. Titley star swimmer Liam Tancock, he won the 50 back and set a world record of 24-04 at the World Championships. Tancock is also the reigning short course meters world champion. Titley also coaches Fran Halsall, who won a silver medal in the 100 free in Rome. And three coaches received awards of excellence at the BSCTA Banquet Monday. Mart, uh, Martin Wilby, who coaches Gemma Spalforth at the University of Florida, he won for helping Spalforth win her first world championship title in world record time. Sean Kelly was also honored for guiding Carrie Ann Payne to gold in the 10K swim in Italy. And Kevin Renshaw received the third award for coaching Joanne Jackson on the way to long course and short course world records in the 400 free uh, this year. And finally, here at SwimmingWorld.tv, we're working on a new segment to add to the Morning Swim Show. We could use your help getting it started. It's called Workouts Around the World. Here's what we want to do. We want to hear from coaches and swimmers about those amazing practices that swimmers are pulling off or those really, really creative sets, something from training that stands out. We'll get you on the Morning Swim Show to brag about it to the rest of the world. So we want this to be a truly international experience. So we hope to hear from people in Europe, Asia, Australia, Africa, North and South America, everywhere. Just send us an email with your name and that's set to uh, mail at morningswimshow.com. Again, that's mail at morningswimshow.com. If we like it, we'll get in touch with you and get you on the show. And that's it for the news segment today. On tomorrow's interview segment, we'll talk to world record holder Ariana Cookers and University of Texas sophomore Kathleen Hersey. That show will be on SwimmingWorld.com and SwimmingWorld.tv starting at 3 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow. Until then, I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.